Hi, my name is Jack Peterson with another Divine Masculine message for you. Whoa, we have survived the eclipses and the lion's gate. Pretty intense time. I don't know about you, but I actually got a migraine right before the lunar eclipse, the full eclipse. Now, I wanted to give you from the Divine Masculine perspective an overview of this time and a few key things to focus on. Now, I've been reading a book, an amazing book, it's called Falling Into Grace, and it talks about how we choose to suffer as human beings. And the idea behind this is that we are in a way attached or literally attached to our own suffering because it's familiar, because everyone else is suffering as well, because it's just a normal part of the human condition. Now, if we were to awaken to who we really are, let's say, we would realize that our suffering has been a self-inflicted thing all along and that the thoughts and beliefs that we tell ourselves are not true and are really just things that have been taught to us from the outside world. So in a sense, if we allowed ourselves to stop thinking the habitual thought patterns and the beliefs that we've been telling ourselves for most of our lives, we would awaken out of our slumber, but that would be a very confronting and scary process. Some call it the dark night of the soul because we actually have to die. And when I mean die, I'm talking about our ego. All of those thoughts and beliefs and the habits that we've accumulated throughout our lives. So it could require us to go through a dark period, so to speak, if we resist it. To the degree that we resist it, the harder and more painful it will be. Now, I've been talking to one of our clients and she is going through a process right now where there's a lot of unknown, it sounds like. She doesn't really know what's going on, but she's feeling all these feelings and just really feels lost. And I actually feel excited because she is more than likely in the process of dying. Her ego is dying so that she can discover who she really is. And in that process, it can be really scary because you get this feeling that you don't know who you are anymore. You feel lost. Maybe you feel scared. Maybe just, you just feel like you're in the complete unknown and you don't know what to do. You don't know who you are. You don't know how to be anymore or behave. That can be a confusing process, but rejoice because you might just be discovering who you really are. Now, after the total lunar eclipse, I went through a process where a lot of old emotions were coming up. And one thing I did to end my own suffering was to talk to a particular person, one of my family members, who has a very confronting presence for me a lot of the time and, and is very triggering to be around. So what I did was I wrote her a letter, a long letter, sharing everything that I have not said to her. All of these old feelings that go back to when I was a little boy that I felt, but I didn't know how to share it. I didn't know how to put it into words at the time. So I wrote out that letter and I mailed it to her. And then just so it wasn't a huge surprise for her, I called her as well, which was very confronting to do for me. And it was very uncomfortable. 
but I said, hey, I have some things I wanna share with you. This is not easy for me, but here we go. And I shared all of these personal things that had to do with my emotions. Most, most importantly, I took responsibility. I said, I feel this. I have, I have felt like this for a long time around you, but I didn't know how to say it because I didn't know how to put it into words. And I did apologize about a few things. I apologized for saying something cruel that I said to her many, many years ago and how that probably got in the way of us connecting more deeply. So I, I encourage you to try that out too. If you're having a lot of emotions coming up at this time, maybe remnants from the eclipses and the lion's gate, go ahead and write it all out. Maybe send that letter to a specific person. Make sure to take responsibility, use I statements. I feel this, I'm noticing this. I'm curious how you're feeling. And it was a very healing process. And I feel like I got all of that out of my system and I feel like there's a much deeper understanding between me and this person and that's a really really relieving thing so if you are feeling like you are in a lot of unknown if you feel like energetically you're swimming through this ocean of just vastness and maybe you feel like you, you aren't sure who you are anymore and you're feeling all these confusing confusing things write in the comments below what's coming up for you at this time. I would love to reply, to hear from you, to support you at this time. Also, I love making these videos, giving you these divine masculine messages. I would love to hear from you what ideas you have, what you would like me to make videos about in the future. Because sometimes I can't think of anything to make a video about. So. I would love to support you at this time and share with you the messages that you would like to hear. Let me know in the comments below. I love you, I support you. We're on this journey together. Keep moving forward, you got this. Keep your eye on the prize, don't give up. It's also extremely important to you know, not just be spiritual and reflective all the time, but to also take action and to do the best that we can possibly do every day and to actually take action. I wish you the very best. You are so worthy of getting the results that you want in your life with your twin flame union, your relationships, your work life. Sending you so much love. I'll talk to you soon.